and welcome back to a beautifully cold and frosty morning and as you can probably tell the sun is up already by how bright I am and usually I'd have been filming earlier on and um, I went out this morning and had a lovely sunrise I didn't film anything and I was just driving back and all this fog and mist is still sitting around and it is just breathtaking it's like one of the first frosts of the year it's a really, really harsh frost. All the grass is really crispy and it just looks so beautiful. This time of year is just stunning, it really is. Um, this is the main A35. You could probably hear the cars behind me and I drive this road quite a lot, uh, especially when I'm going down the Dorset coast and stuff. And I've always spotted this tree or this group of trees and it kind of, it looks like a great big fan if you like and they've always caught my eye because they're in this big open field and today when I was driving back home I thought it was the perfect time to shoot it so I'm just going to try and dial in a composition. Uh, I don't think it's going to be anything special, very minimalist, uh, very simplistic but it's pretty and it looks nice I think to the back of my camera so I'm going to try and dial in the composition and get this shot on the bag. But beautiful morning so nice i just i just love this time of year so much so i've just taken the image the mist is already starting to lift i'm a little bit late really but saying that i've already had an amazing sunrise this morning with just loads of mist and so many great images but hopefully i can still grab a few here so this image I've decided to do a focus stack uh, and I'm at 105 mil, 110 mil um, just because all this grass in the foreground is so crispy and sharp and it just looks really really nice and hopefully I can pick up all the detail of the ice. Uh, so it's five images focusing from the bottom of my frame all the way through to the trees and uh, yeah it just looks really nice, very cold, very blue, very crispy, very icy uh, and very very minimalist. I've also got to be a little bit careful because there's a big herd of cows over there. So I'm going to grab this shot, five images, focusing incrementally throughout the image right up into the main subject, which is the group of trees over there in the background. And maybe we'll go back and edit it. I'm not sure because I'm not sure whether I'm going to get anything else here. So maybe we can go back to the computer and I can show you how I did this one. So Lightroom and Photoshop is just loading up and uh, we're back home now in the warm. It was absolutely freezing this morning. Um, and we're gonna go about editing this shot, this five shot focus stack that I shot this morning. So let's jump straight into Photoshop and Lightroom and get this image stacked and edited. So first things first, before we go about stacking and doing anything, I like to do a basic edit on the image to get the white balance and the exposure correct. So straight away I'm looking at this and I'm thinking it's looking very, very yellow. It was very white when I was there. It was very cold and it was very crisp. So I'm just gonna drop the uh, tint a little bit and just blew up the image a little bit more. Lift the exposure slightly because it was so bright. Uh, and I'm gonna bring up the highlights just a smidge and also the shadows. And you can see the shadows is what is revealing all the icy grass. So if I drop them, uh, like you would if you were editing a sky or something like that um, you're getting dark grass down the bottom there and I don't want that I want it to be nice and bright and crisp because that's what it was when I was there it was it was like that you could see all the ice I'm going to drop the black just slightly to bring out the tree bring down the contrast slightly just to soften it up just a little bit and the clarity um, just a very very basic edit at the moment I'm not too worried about 
uh, the colors and how it looks because I can come back and change everything later on. Um, it's just so that we can go in and then go about stacking the image and that'll do pretty much. So once you're done with your basic edit in Lightroom, you're just going to select all of the images that you want to take into Photoshop. But we want to firstly sync the settings that we've just done on this image across them all. So just go down to sync here, make sure check all is checked and synchronize those settings. And then that will synchronize the settings that we just did on the first one across all five of those images. So now that they're all selected and they're all edited the same as the first one like we just did, we're going to right click, press edit in, open in layers, open as layers in Photoshop. Uh, Photoshop takes a couple of seconds to boot up and then it will bring us into Photoshop with all five of those images so that we can do our stack. Photoshop takes ages sometimes. There we go, we're in, right. Okay, so Photoshop has finally booted up and we've got all five layers in Photoshop just down here in the bottom right hand corner. Um, and on top there we've got the bottom focus one and it works its way through to the tree which is the bottom one. So just like in Lightroom, we're gonna select them all. So hold down shift and click on the bottom one. And the first thing we've got to do is align the layers because as we focus throughout the scene, um, our focal length could have change just slightly, or it's more like focus breathing if you like, as you're focusing incrementally throughout the image, it just changes the image slightly. So we're going to just go up to edit and go to auto align layers uh, and leave it on auto and click OK. So this will take the tree and line up all five of those images so that it doesn't look funny so that we can go out stacking the images and it will look seamless. So that is now auto aligns. We're going to leave them uh, selected, go back up to edit and go down to auto blend layers just below auto align. Uh, we're going to click on stack and we're going to make sure that these two tabs down the bottom are selected as well and click OK. So this will take a couple of seconds and this will now pick out the sharpest bits of each five of those images, blend them together so that we've got focus from right down at the bottom all the way through to our tree. Uh, and this technique works really well for images and scenes like this. Where it doesn't work well and you have to do it manually is scenes where you have water or clouds or things that are moving. Uh, because if you were doing this and you had water, it would pick bits of water that are sharp uh, and just pick random bits throughout the scene that are sharp and just blend them all together and it can look very, very odd. So I recommend not trying that. Uh, only use this technique for things that are like this and scenes that are like this. So Photoshop has done a really, really good job of blending uh, those images together and we can zoom in now and have a look. So we zoomed in on the tree there and it's nice and sharp and we go down to the bottom where the grass is nice and sharp all the way throughout and it looks really, really good. And you can see that ice starting to come through as well now. So now it's blended together and it's nice and sharp from the bottom all the way through to the top. I will go about doing my normal edit. I'll probably get rid of these cows over here and clean up around the edges. I'll get rid of this grassy bit here that I don't like and just clone in some normal grass. I'll make sure that the colors are correct and it looks good and pleasing to my eye. Uh, and I also change the crop a little bit as well so that it looks a little bit better because I don't like this three by two crop. I think it will work a lot better as a lot narrower uh, like a two by one or something like that. So I'll pop the final image up on screen for you guys in just two seconds. So I hope this has been useful to some of you guys out there. I get a lot of questions asking about how I focus deck and how I go about doing the editing side of things as well. Uh, and it really is dead simple when you have images like this. When you have, like I said, images that have water or clouds moving, uh, you need to have a Wacom tablet and a pen really, and then you need to select which bits you want and bring in the focus where you want it. Uh, and it can be a little bit more time consuming, but it, the same principle applies. Uh, but when you have scenes like this, it's dead simple, auto align, auto blend, and Photoshop just does it all for you. So I will clean up this image, go about editing it, pop it up on screen for you guys in a sec. And I hope it has been useful to some of you guys out there. So please, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do consider clicking subscribe below. Give us a like, tell us what you think down in the comments, and I'll see you guys in the next one.